Today, I'm gonna give you guys another home tour, another my own property. This is one of my favorite one, two bedroom, one bath home, but pretty damn cute. But at the same time, in this home tour, I'm gonna tell you like three things that many investors make a mistake. And also the seller whom I purchased from made the same mistake. So make sure, stay till the end, learn those three mistakes because you know, that's gonna save you a lot of money and time in the long run. So are you ready? Let's go. Namaskar, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aditya Soma. I'm a real estate investor and real estate agent. I have a team of agents, you know, where we work in Windsor Essex. And, you know, in this channel, I talk a lot about, you know, how I achieved financial freedom through real estate investing and how you can replicate the same thing using the real estate as a vehicle. So, like I mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a tour for my investment property. And also I'm gonna share the numbers and along with that, three major mistakes that many investors make, which you can avoid because you know, that would save you money and time. So let's start with the entrance. So first of all, this is my favorite part. Even my own primary residence, I don't have a damn cute landscaping like this. So the mistake one I'll start with this is, you know, don't overspend on landscaping. You know, all these things, it costs you time and money to maintain and also it costs you to build. As an investment property, have a basic nice and clean landscaping. But you know, personally, I love this. You know, this could be a good, um, you know, short term rental uh, like Airbnb. People would love it and you know, would definitely appreciate uh, to live here. But as an investor, it's a maintenance for me. But again, look at this, how beautiful it is. And you know, my favorite part about this house, the previous owner did a, a lifetime shingles like it's not shingles it's actually metallic roof and they have redone completely completely for their you know personal use and you know nice uh, stone outside and those beautiful textures like black i love that black texture how do you like it let me know in the comments below so let's go so to start with this house got a cute mudroom one of the nicest mudroom i have seen you know nice black tile everywhere damn expensive tile uh, but look at this cute damn cute tiles everywhere and it's real stone not the fake stone and if you come into the inside here a beautiful living area and got some like very unique textures here look at this stone work here and if you go come in a little bit more they spent so much in the living area and the mudroom but they haven't spent that much in the kitchen area. Kitchen is like nice, standard, not even granite countertop. The cabinets are very, like very simple. And if you look at here, look at this stove. This is like, I don't even have this solid stove in my own house and the range hood and all this like you know this is like chef special <laughs> how do you like this let me know in the comments below and you know i'm looking for at least a thousand likes on this video help me out make sure hit that like button if you're enjoying the video so far and look at this fridge it's damn expensive fridge so that's my lesson number you know mistake number two that investors make is they spend money on things that not really needed because this fridge and that stove you know this alone would cost like seven eight thousand it's not really needed don't overspend on appliances because you know at the end it's going to be a rental property and if it breaks you're the one supposed to fix it and when you have tenants living here and if this one breaks they expect the same quality you know same type of appliances so again um and especially you, they overspent in the areas where not that important. The kitchen is one of the most important one, which they made it just simple. Okay. And let's continue the walkthrough here. And this is my, the most favorite one in the house is this washroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. Look at this stonework everywhere. You like the washroom appliances kitchen? Which one you like? Let me know in the comments. And if we further continue here, this is like a beautiful bedroom but no drywall anywhere. It's just, they made it all wood, like again, the cottage style. Personally, I love it. Has an investment, this is not needed. So that's the third mistake that many investors make is, you know, overspending on interior that is not necessary. Because you know, you just put a drywall. The drywall makes it nice, clean and standard. Whereas like this one, if something breaks, now you cannot even, you know, do the patchwork. You have to find the same wood or you have to do something, you know, to, to make it a consistent look. So that's, that becomes challenging. 
so let's continue further and also like the really exciting part about the reason why i purchased this property is because this property has actually the previous seller got approvals for building another adu in the back so we are already building it of course in in, in this video i don't want to bore you guys with the more details we'll do another video about the adu because currently the adu is in work in progress so we have the adu construction going on um we'll do the another video with the details on how much it cost me costed me to build that adu and uh, what's the potential rent on that one we'll talk about that in the next video but again it got a nice decent sized backyard maybe you can see the roof from here if you come this way see the roof like the fixture it's it's like lifetime this this property is going to stay for longer because the the amount of work the previous sellers put into this one it's a uh, quite a bit of money and solid work what do you like in the property so far let me know in the comments uh personally i love this like <laughs> look at this one and this is actually part of my property all this uh, they have they have made this like you know side uh, where they can enjoy the drinks sit down in summer it's a perfect place to enjoy in the summer and once we enter into this dining area actually they did nice tankless so that you can have more storage and they installed the furnace in the crawl space so this one doesn't have a basement it's a just you can crawl in it and there is access from a second bedroom and another cool thing that these guys have done they have this lots of storage even though it's a cute uh, two bedroom house come here i'll show you guys lots of lots of space for storage look here completely new and they install nice light fixtures everywhere and lots of storage so i started to store my stuff in the back some things that i don't need for now but again love and money into it so that's one of the reason why i bought this property because you know it's a damn damn cute house let's talk about the numbers in a second here let's go down it's damn hot here <laughs> even though it's a small house they they made enough room for storage purpose and you have you guys haven't seen the second bedroom right so when i bought it actually they left some work kind of you know for the owner to do new owner they haven't uh, drywall this bedroom so i had to do all the drywall in this bedroom and the flooring as well some flooring here some flooring down in the dining area so here's where the crawl space is going to be i know i don't know if you guys can see there is no oh there is light there you go so here's the crawl space access so crawl space in the sense just you can crawl crawl into it so the furnace is in there so if you ever if i ever want to change the filter or anything they have to go in here so i got to close it properly later let's talk the numbers now let's talk the numbers about the rents how much i bought it so now to the numbers um the beauty of this property um they were in a rush they were you know uh, distressed they they bought something they wanted a quick closing and the property actually when i entered when before i purchased this property it was completely filled with smoke yep <laughs> smoke with the cigarettes smoke with the actually weed so that's why they couldn't sell actually um and so they were selling for a pretty good price um if you heard about like ozone treatment so there's a treatment that you can do to get rid of the smoke so i had to do that treatment twice so all the smoke has gone and now i have done primer whenever possible and then painted so the smoke is gone and now this is the end product so what i purchased it for 285000 yes that's what i got it for 285000 for this damn cute property with the permits to build the adu um again this is actually not even now now the market has shifted but this is when the market was hot i purchased in um, january so when the market was damn hot um because they couldn't keep up with the property because you know that the people cannot even enter because of the smoke and all so others problems it's you know profit someone who wants to take on so that's a lesson um now coming to the number i bought it for 8 uh, 285 right as soon as i bought it i bought it with cash i mean not literally cash i didn't had cash but i i used my home equity line of credit and i purchased this property so after i closed it um after a month i went in and did the refinance on this property so because i didn't had any mortgage now the lender sent a new appraisal so the new appraisal on this property came up at 360000 so 
literally i was able to take all my money out and i got the uh, loan construction loan for the adu we'll talk about the adu construction loan later on in the next videos so stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe for that and if you don't hit thousand likes on this video i'm gonna i'm not gonna make the adu i'm not gonna share the details because show me that love show me that support you know that uh, thumbs up will help algorithms to you know show this video for more people uh, but again jokes aside i, I refinance for 360 my current mortgage is around 1160 dollars and um, until now I was just waiting for AD to finish so that because there was a lot of uh, construction material and everything was going on so I didn't rent it for last like four months but now I have a tenant coming in for 1800 plus they pay for their own utilities only for this house so 1800 I'm paying 1160 uh, for my mortgage and I have a property tax around 160 dollars um, and insurance at our hundred dollars and uh, um, I think you know just a grass cutting there's not much grass and snow removal so give or take my expenses are around 300 320 dollars so I'm all in like 1500 so I'm making 300 dollars cash flow on this property but also there's another option because it's a damn cure property you know if someone have a patience to do some short-term rentals because you know it's easy to do Airbnb property like this if you have time and efforts um, so I did some research because you know because of my timeline I couldn't go through the Airbnb route but uh, based on my research I can get 2500 to 3000 dollars a month in this one and net in the Airbnb through the Airbnb process so my cash flow would be much more higher so I, I will hit close to thousand dollars cash flow on this just only this property so there you go that's your numbers but just to recap you know the three mistakes the number one don't overspend on the landscaping that's not necessary just do the basic important make it look clean and the number two mistake don't overspend in the interior in the areas where not needed like the mud room like the stone work you know that's not needed spend money on things that will add value to your property like the kitchen right so that's the lesson too number three the appliances not needed anything that light fixtures or different you know elements within the house that does not need expensive one because don't forget it's going to be a rental property especially if you're like me doing for investment purpose for long run then you know you better stick with the standard nice quality one but not damn expensive one okay Hope you like it and if you see any other you know uh, common mistakes that investors are making let me know in the comments below so we all can learn from each other uh, if you find value in this make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and that thumbs up button and see you in the later videos until then check out the other videos related to other real estate properties how you can achieve financial freedom until then see you